family is under God and we will praise the name of the Lord. Welcome to this program, Families Under God. Thank you for choosing to watch this program and we are grateful to God that you are with us and so many of you have been writing to us and saying that the programs have been a blessing to you. Continue watching and I know the Lord will always speak to you. Let me say that we meet here every Thursday, 12.30 to 2.30. Please come, wonderful testimonies, word of God, and then praying together. I hope you come because this is a personal invitation to you. May God bless you as you plan to come. But today, I have the Jugunas, Dr. Juguna. Let mm. me start with Dr. Yeah. Pastor Juguna. Yeah. And my Juguna. sister and Fred, Mrs. Juguna. Mm -hmm. mm. 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 Welcome. You were here sometime. Yes. And you spoke to the whole congregation. Yes. And when you left because lunch hour they, they are not there's not enough time. Right. Many, many questions kept coming. Right. And uh, for you that are watching us, um Pastor Jogona uh, remarried and married Elizabeth after mm. the first wife passed on. Mm. And all the questions that have been coming mm. uh, to do with uh, is it okay to remarry? Is it okay to 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 have children when you remarry and mm. there are so many many questions that are right, coming right. so i want first of all mm -hmm. for <laughs> sister elizabeth to introduce yourself mm. and then pastor will introduce themselves mm. so that you give your own mm. life journey not a mm. long one but at least let the people know your story praise the lord amen, amen. it's so good to be here mm -hmm. Amen. Judy, Amen. I appreciate mm. our, your invitation. Mm. Today, I would like to say, I like I said here last mm. time, mm -hmm. I was not married for quite a while. Mm. And uh, I had a daughter. Mm. And I love the Lord. Mm. So God was so gracious to mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and brought a man mm -hmm. who wanted to marry me. Amen. Young. So Amen. glad Amen. he's here. Amen. Amen. So you are telling the, the ladies that keep talking to me about a biological clock. Mm -hmm. You are telling them there is nothing like a biological clock. No. God will mm. come mm. in, in the fullness time. of time. In his time. Please talk to such ladies and that are saying, how did he do it? <laughs> Please talk to them. Mm. I would like to encourage the ladies mm -hmm. uh, by telling them, when we are w waiting upon the Lord, mm. they that wait upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. Mm. And our strength that does not come from anywhere else, mm -hmm. our strength comes from the Lord. Mm. And it, has be, it was an exciting time. Mm. I prayed for many ladies. Mm -hmm. They used to come, mm -hmm. ask me to pray. They have been dropped by boyfriends. Mm -hmm. They have many things have happened. Yeah. But I kept holding on and praying. Mm -hmm. We prayed for many. I thank God some of my good friends are mm. pastor's wives. Mm. And as they continued getting married, I got involved in their weddings. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, after prayer and praying for somebody and seeing them getting married, mm. the devil would come and whisper, yeah, what about to be, you? To you are always for praying people. for others. Where mm -hmm. is your husband? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was praying mm. at and one time, mm. for me, I usually tell my husband mm. because I, 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 I don't call myself Mrs. Yoguna, mm. I'm Mrs. Kamau. Mm -hmm. Because mm. that's the name which mm. I was given clearly. Mm. I didn't know where Kamau was. Mm -hmm. I was in Akuru then. You were thought you'd be buried by Kamau? Yes, Kamau. my husband would be Kamau. Amen. And uh, <laughs> I had no idea where Kamau is. Uh -huh. One, mm. I was very worried because mm. my bishop, uh, who was our pastor then, mm was come out mm. and I loved the wife mm. and I prayed for the wife mm. and we still talk. Mm. So mm. I was very worried, mm -hmm. but I knew mm -hmm. God is going to make Oh, you are worried that your uh, bishop People doesn't don't lose think the wife? Come out. Not so that come out. <laughs> <laughs> Not that come out. Isn't that interesting? I didn't know where isn't he it, was. Isn't that interesting? Mm. Probably even started this from the middle, because mm. I think we should have started with you, Pastor Jogona, but it's okay, because mm. you are my prayer partners, mm. and I love the things that we talk. Mm. I have heard so much about your story, and it's so exciting. Mm. So that's probably why I started with my sister, because I'm, I'm very encouraged by your story, my sister. Mm. But uh, Pastor Jogona, yeah. perhaps we should start mm. with yeah. you. Please tell us a little bit about you mm. and why it happened that you had to 
Lima. Yeah, yeah. Pastor Geoffrey Kamonjuguna mm. and uh, Pastor Ling Deliverance Church Nangata. Mm. Uh, he's a founding pastor, mm. planted that church in 1993. Mm -hmm. And at that time, mm. when I was planting that church, I, I had a wife, mm. uh, a young wife mm -hmm. with very young family. Mm -hmm. uh, and, um, and then she got sick, mm. and after some time, mm -hmm. uh, she passed on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in 1994 mm -hmm. and uh, it, it was having started the church in 93 mm -hmm. in, in March and then mm -hmm. she's dying around July I believe she, she, 90, she died about uh, mm -hmm. July mm -hmm. of 94 uh, mm -hmm. it was it was very very difficult mm -hmm. because the, the church was very young mm -hmm and the children were very young. Mm -hmm. I, I still remember it very clearly mm -hmm. because my eldest son mm -hmm. <coughs> was only 10 years old. Mm -hmm. The follower was 10 years Big old. Eight. The follower was only mm -hmm. six. So you're talking about 10, mm -hmm. eight, six. Oh my goodness. And mm -hmm. uh, several challenges. Mm -hmm. I faced several challenges. Number mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. I would not be able to bring uh, a, a house boy mm -hmm. because of my girls. Mm -hmm. And I will not also reasonably bring a house girl, girl mm -hmm. uh, because of, of factors your, of your, perception. Your, your own uh, integrity. Yeah, yeah. So, so mm -hmm. uh, in the beginning, you know, I, I had my mom mm -hmm. who stayed with me a little bit, but I realized that's my mom. Mm. And I'm not the only child. We, we, we are a family of ten. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, ten. At that time, yeah. four boys, mm -hmm. six girls. Mm -hmm. So I could not be able to bring my mom there and say that she's the one who will be... In any case, she's an elderly lady. She yeah. cannot be able to do the, the kind of things that, mm -hmm. that happened. And, uh, and then um, the other factor that was, was very... Now, this is a young church mm -hmm. in a young family. Mm -hmm. And for people, because I know people lose yeah. loved ones and mm -hmm. they lose them when they're very young, mm -hmm. depending on what your personality is, mm -hmm. Uh, I had married young, really. Mm -hmm. I think I, I, I got into marriage when I was fairly young. And mm -hmm. that is why mm -hmm. uh, right now at the age in which I am, mm -hmm. my youngest daughter mm -hmm. is already 30. Mm -hmm. 31, I believe now. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, mm -hmm. that one who was six years, mm -hmm. is that one? Now that one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> years pass by yeah, so quickly. Yeah, years go so quickly. Uh -huh. And one of the things I, I like, it's good to be honest to yourself, but mm -hmm. Losing a loved one is a very emotional thing yeah. because uh, losing your spouse is like you are leaning on somebody mm. and then they are gone. All of a sudden. So, so you really get destabilized in so mm -hmm. many ways. In fact, mm -hmm. at, at my height of emotional uh, struggle mm -hmm. to reconcile with the fact that uh, the lady, uh, you know, my first wife whose name was Virginia had gone, mm -hmm. I had actually stood in the church and told, told, I told them, not, not even pray about mm -hmm about me mm. remarrying or anything mm. i don't want any business yes. you know you know that's a kind of yes. thing but i you know that's yes. people mourn differently yes yes but uh, reality hit home mm. when all the people left uh, the people left uh -huh. and everybody's gone mm -hmm. and here i have mm. well I, I brought one of my younger sisters mm. who had uh, forsook school mm. so i figured she can come and mm -hmm help. And since a sister, is an auntie of this kid, yes. I was thinking I'm covered. Yes. But then she started taking advantage of me uh -huh. in ways that were very, very unfortunate. Uh -huh. So uh, now that started now challenging me. And then mm -hmm. when I would raise it, mm -hmm. because I like, uh, I'm the kind of person who like getting into crucial conversation with people if we have to, mm -hmm. to discuss issues. Mm -hmm. And, and when I one time held a, a conversation that was a bit carded with her, mm -hmm. why she should not do what she was doing, mm -hmm. she threatened to leave. To leave, my goodness. And, so do you realize and now she you actually, either tolerate? Listen, and <laughs> she actually carried out that threat one day uh -huh. when she, she left. Mm -hmm. And when the youngest daughter who was going at the time at the Methodist nursery school, which, mm -hmm. because I, was, I used to live in Hulu Gardens, mm -hmm. came, mm -hmm. My, uh, she had already left. So here am I with, uh, with this little girl, mm. and, I, and I knew I was in trouble. Mm. So what I did is that I said I was going to eat the humble pie. Mm. I got my daughter into the car, mm. and I knew where she had gone. Mm. So I drove, mm. because she, has, she was visiting another older sister of mine, yes. who used to live in Kangwari at the time. Mm -hmm. So I drove there, and, mm. I, and, I, and I spoke to her, mm. the older one. Mm. I said, please. Mm. 
I want you to persuade this girl, girl, this my young sister, back. to come back mm. because it is so unfair for her to leave, mm. considering uh, the circumstances in which I am. Mm. A priest and good enough mm -hmm. she was persuaded and mm -hmm. she came back mm -hmm. but that was a wake-up call mm -hmm. you know there are things that god allowed to happen yes so that you can wake up yes yes so me i think that was a wake-up call uh -huh. because i knew that whether i like it or like not this forever mm -hmm. whether i like it or not i need to bring somebody mm -hmm. Who will not be telling me they want to go anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> that they are threatening to go. <laughs> so that is when. That's when God really mm. worked in a very, very. Mm. Uh, when I started praying, first I was praying for somebody who would be mature enough mm. to be able to handle your children. My children. And you as a pastor. And me as a pastor. Mm -hmm. as a pastor. Then I also. To me, at that time, I said, even for somebody having a child out of wedlock, mm. as long as it's not an issue of somebody divorced or whatever, mm. that mm. was not a disadvantage. Mm. I considered it an advantage. Yeah. They know the pain yeah. of, of, of having up children, children yeah. and they can be able to, 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 to mm. take care of, of, mm. of these young uh, mm. kids. Mm. So those are how the journey began. Mm. And uh, I know that we went through a very difficult time. Yeah. Because at the time in which I voiced my desire to get married, mm -hmm. There are people who are feeling mm. I should have waited longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People who people did not the know. Church, people in yeah, the people, uh, people Christian some, community. Some in the church, some of them mm -hmm. within the church leaders, mm -hmm. some even family. Mm -hmm. So, so, mm -hmm. and these are people who could not, who did not know uh, what you are going through. What I'm, what I'm going through, mm -hmm. because you can't go around, you announcing know, to announcing everybody. to everybody, you know that. You know, I had a sister who was with me, and now Amanda. So, so, so it was. It was <laughs> I am so happy, Pastor, that you are saying this. Yeah. Because most of the people that have been sending questions to us, yeah. like I yeah. said, or asking personally, yeah. are saying, "Okay, if I am a woman and yeah. I want to get married because my husband died, some of them had one child, yeah. or I'm a single mother." Yeah. People are saying you are betraying your husband. Is there which a husband? This one who is dead. <laughs> so, you see, you see, the, the, and yet the Bible says that you are married until he dies. That is specific. And if you read mm -hmm. the Word of God, and of course I don't have my, my Bible mm -hmm. here, but the Word of God is very specific mm -hmm. that the contract of marriage mm -hmm. is in force yeah. as long as both of you are living. Mm -hmm. Should one die, mm -hmm. that contract is over. Amen. And there's nobody, mm -hmm. nobody, even if mm -hmm. you had the courage, which would be very difficult, mm -hmm. but even if you had the courage to marry the next day. Mm -hmm you will still be guiltless before God Amen. because that contract is expired. Yes. So it's, it's a very, very unfortunate thing mm -hmm. that there are people who live in agony and pain mm -hmm. alone. Mm -hmm. And I tell men, because I've spoken to some men who have lost yes, their wives, uh, their wives mm -hmm. and some of them by encouraging them mm -hmm. to, 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 re to consider a marriage. Mm -hmm. And some of them uh, don't do it. Mm -hmm. and, and there are some who, who have that same kind of attitude. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I marry another woman, mm -hmm. I'll be betraying my dead. That's what they say. And it's a you very, think very, men say that? Yeah, it is very, very regrettable mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. they, 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 they are uh, not taking the scripture in the context mm -hmm. that it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. You cannot betray somebody who is dead. No, you can't. You can only betray somebody who is living. Yes. So you can't say that yes. someone is dead and you are betraying Say that them. again to the, to the it, people that are very, supposed to very, be very, getting very, married. It is, it's very, very important. And God uh, gives them opportunity. God brings a man or a woman. And they're saying, but as a, after I've prayed, I've betray. even gone to Kataroni and I feel it's oh, betrayal. No. no, it's not betrayal. Mm. That person mm -hmm. will never come back. Mm. And they will never need you mm. for company yes. because they have gone. If they were born again, they have gone to be with the Lord. Yes. And uh, we say, according to Paul, that mm. to be uh, absent Absent. from the body mm -hmm. and it's present brilliant. with the Lord is even better. Mm -hmm. So there's nobody who has gone to be present with the Lord who really would like to come mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, so the key thing is this: yeah. I, I really believe with all my heart. Mm. Of course, depending on 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 who you are. For mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. I had no choice than to go into a relationship first, mm -hmm. not only for my sake, mm -hmm. but for the sake of the kids mm -hmm. that needed care. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I'm so glad mm -hmm. uh, that we are talking about all these years later. Mm -hmm. It's not been a it's not been a, a, a bed of roses. Mm -hmm. There's been challenges here and there, especially, mm -hmm. especially uh, in the manner in which you know my girls sometimes have, have related with, with my wife Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. But 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 I, but I but I believe mm -hmm. that. 
she, she, has, she can say with confidence she's very glad. Because all my kids mm. are very well situated. Amen. There's no, we don't have any of our kids, my mm. kids who, none of them is with us, they are all married. Yeah. And, not, and not they are, are all happy. Are dependent uh, none, of, none of them are dependent. I will be us. coming to Elizabeth soon. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, how long would you say is a safe time to wait after marriage, after the, the loss of a spouse? Yeah. How long, whether a woman or a man, how long do you feel is a safe time? I think, I think it is subjective. Mm -hmm. It's subjective in this sense. Mm -hmm. Depending on where your children are yeah. in their development. Mm -hmm. Because I've known people who have said, mm. I'll wait until my kids mm -hmm. go into their yeah. careers mm. now and I get married. Mm. But mm. remember, mm. you cannot say you're going to do that for kids who are in who nursery are so school. Yeah. <laughs> so who are needing because somebody. Because they're going to they're gonna need somebody mm -hmm. to take care of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I don't condemn people. Mm -hmm. I, I know people mm -hmm. who have waited mm -hmm until even the last of the children mm -hmm. have gone mm -hmm. and then they, they, they remarry. Mm. So, so, it's, so it has to be, to be, to depend on the circumstances. For me, mm. uh, even if, no matter how old my kids would have been, mm. one of the, one of the challenges with me, and, and I believe we are all created different in terms mm. of personality, mm. is because I am the kind of person who draws energy from relationships, yes. from, for, for me, even no matter how hungry I am, mm. I don't enjoy eating alone. Alone, yeah. So <laughs> I have the money, but yeah. I can't. But you can't just go you to can't a just hotel. Go to a and hotel. I'm sitting there eating alone. Yeah. So and that means that I I, I, I really enjoy mm. company, mm. and I feel sorry. There's a, I have a, a gentleman in the U.S. who was a very good friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, and the other day we remembered him. wife, of course, mm. he was one of the supporters that I had when I was in America. Mm. His, name, his name was Tom Turner. Mm. And Tom Turner had a very good job mm. working with the with security, mm -hmm. some of these people who provide security mm -hmm. needs for the military and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. And he, he, he was one of my supporters when I lived in America. Mm -hmm. So when, and, and he was where he needed to get married. Yeah. So one day I told him, mm -hmm. you know, Tom, mm -hmm. I'm very worried about you. Mm -hmm. Because you are still aging. One day you are going to be in retirement. How are we going to live? Mm -hmm. Will you be going, driving a car alone? Mm. Uh, would you be going to the hotel mm. and sitting alone to eat? <laughs> you know? yeah. So I said, please, seriously consider. Mm. Even if it's somebody who uh, is about, uh, you know, as, mm. uh, as, as old as you are. Mm. Because I believe that life mm. is about mm -hmm. relationship with God mm. and relationship with others. Mm. And the primary relationship, yeah. in fact, the Bible says, is God who put mm -hmm. the solitary yes. In families, in families mm -hmm. yeah. So, so, Isaiah. so you really mm -hmm. need that. Mm -hmm. And for me, I, I'm, I'm really thankful that yeah. uh, I yes, made that God. decision. Mm -hmm. It was not popular. Mm -hmm. I had a lot of issues mm -hmm. with some people. Mm -hmm. uh, I will never forget uh, that when we started, when we knew that we really needed to get married. And mm -hmm. one time, in the, she was in a church in Langata. Mm -hmm. It was required of me that I ask her to go to another church. Mm -hmm so that we, we are not in the need. same church. In fact, you, uh, that's what I was going to ask. Uh, how, uh, this may be a bit personal, <laughs> but how did you meet Elizabeth? How did you meet with him? And how did you know he's <laughs> the one? He's the Kamau that God had talked about. I didn't even know. First, I didn't know he was mm. Kamau. Uh -huh. Because he's Reverend Jogona. Yes. Yeah, but no, but Until yes. when mm -hmm. I got involved in mm. talking mm -hmm. and I heard, mm. he sure is mm. Kamau. Yeah. <laughs> so that really confirmed in your heart. And this not only me, out. I had my friends. Mm -hmm. I thank God for one of the ladies. Mm -hmm. I'm sure even if she watched and heard me mm -hmm. say, mm -hmm. she is a canon. Mm -hmm. She told me Koi as go. she was praying, mm -hmm. she felt God confirming mm -hmm. that this is my this husband. Is your man, yeah. mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. there was even another, the uh, reverend and uh, mm -hmm. the wife who were our best couple. Mm -hmm. The wife told mm -hmm. me, mm -hmm. This is your home. Mm, mm. Mm. And Amen. everybody, there was a lot of confirmation Amen. from my friends. Mm -hmm. I also had a lot of peace mm -hmm. about it. Mm. And uh, as I was, I continued, we continued praying and waiting upon the Lord. Mm. Even the time I left the church. Mm. And we were told never to talk. And of course, those days, there, were, no, you, there were no mobile phones. Listen, no mobile phones. No, no, no. I think mobile phones were, no. were, they, they were not there. It was no, the landline. It was landline. Land land but nevertheless, <laughs> yes. but, but, you see, yeah. but you see, the, what, what is so funny about the whole thing yeah. is for a requirement, yeah. you don't meet. Yeah. And you don't but talk. what bothered me was a requirement that we can't talk. 
How? Who are you talking about? The key thing How is this. You be if I'm calling you, you if I'm calling you and you're in Naivasha <laughs> or you're in Nakuru or whatever you are, and, and we are conversing, I mean, how does that offend? So. <laughs> No, that is not wise. And because you're a pastor yeah. and you're talking, if you're watching us and you're troubled about not meeting the man or the lady, the best thing, I think, is to have somebody else. Yeah. Because, like, you could come to my house yeah. and yeah. we let you sit in one room and talk. In, in talk. Because otherwise, how will you ever get to know yeah, each the, other? The issue of the you have, I mean, yeah. the relationship has to grow. You, uh, people need to talk. Anyway, we cut through to you, so. It's okay. You, mm -hmm. but, uh, so you got to know that uh, he's the man. Yes. Were you fearful about the children? Because because this is another question. Some of the girls are saying many men are marrying girls and making them their maids. I have children, my wife has died, come home. So you get to that home, you don't know the children, the man that you knew is very busy, lives with the children. The children obviously don't like you at the first sight because you are a mother-in-law, I mean a stepmother. Step they have read so much about stepmothers. Uh, so, in fact, <laughs> I have a friend who passed on, and the last time she, we talked, she was talking about writing a book, but she was saying she wants to write about children that she brought up mm -hmm. with everything she had. Mm -hmm. And then just when they were grown up, the children and the father ganged against her, and she was so hurt. I believe part of the reason why she died is that kind of attic. Mm -hmm. Why are you fearful about the children? Uh, one of the things I must say mm. was that uh, I was a Sunday school teacher. Mm. Uh, so for me, I had related with these kids, mm. and we were good friends. With the pastor's kids? Mm -hmm. So you knew them? Even the mama, mm -hmm. before she passed on. Mm. And uh, these kids mm -hmm. were really loved mm. our company. Mm. My daughter mm. loved them so mm. much because she was much okay. bigger. Okay. So that's a different story. Mm. And I... Also, like, uh, we, uh, because I was a Sunday school teacher, mm -hmm. there were many teachers, they had lived in the U.S. Mm. So the kids, mm. once they're in class, they know a lot of Bible. Mm -hmm. Some of the teachers were really feeling yeah. intimidated, intimidated mm. because they're not coping yeah. with oh. the kids. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Mm. So they would rebuke them. Mm. So for me... Mm. I was okay. Mm. I thank God I knew the Bible there mm. quite a bit. Mm. And we had a good time. Mm. But uh, I, that besides, mm. like he says, that mm. does not mean there were no challenges. Mm. Immediately, like, immediately when we got married, mm. I don't know whether I can get there. Mm. The kids used to watch mm. our program, mm. which was a stepmother. Mm. And they would be sitting there, mm. small little girls and the boy, mm. and the, but the girl on the TV mm. is being beaten mm. and everything, mm. and they would be shedding tears. Mm. I have never forgotten, yes, because it really mm. triggered. It was triggered both bad me. emotions, yes, mm. and imaginations, mm. and <coughs> cause of trust. Mm. Though when they were young, we didn't have mm. issues, <coughs> really quite issues, mm. you know. I would say after children, uh, especially the girls when they are in teenage, mm. that would mm. bring, like I had said, yeah. one of the things I said, mm. and I told myself, mm. I thank God, mm. God has given me the privilege mm. of bringing up kids. Yes. yes. Because it's a privilege, yes. Reverend Judy, yes. even it you, is a for privilege. you to bring up your children yes. to be where they it are. Is a privilege. It is a miracle of God. Yeah. Mm. And I and thought. And whether they are yours or not yours. The, uh, teenage years are very of difficult course. years with yeah. parents. Mm. We, oh, it yeah. is not because of you. So mm -hmm. for me, mm. I was, uh, uh, one time we were in a meeting, mm. and in this meeting, mm. one of the uh, bishop's wife mm. started telling me how stepchildren are mm. bad. Mm. She's also a stepmother. Mm. And she told me, and mm. she told me, I told him, I'll never go for that meeting again. <laughs> because that mm. lady, mm. Yeah, she's much mature. Yeah. Mm. Instead yeah. of helping me, yes. and for me, I felt like it's a calling. Yes. And it is. And I never brought up is. those children one day mm. thinking, mm. I will discipline this because they are not my children. Mm. Because the fear of God was, was in, in me. Yeah. So I knew if a child makes a mistake, mm. even my own. Mm can make such a mistake. Mm -hmm. And many parents and are having... And if you have to punish, it's not because no, they are not your biological no, children, it's because what they are doing is... is the wrong, wrong thing. Yeah. We are mm -hmm. dealing with the wrong, mm -hmm. not with the person. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, I thank God mm -hmm. I did mm -hmm. the best I knew how. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, seeing how mm -hmm. they have done well in mm -hmm. school, mm -hmm. all of them, mm -hmm. we know when kids are going through stress yeah. at home, yeah. they don't they perform. Can do well. They can do well. Yeah. So, so the fact need, that they need, all yeah. performed mm -hmm. in right. school, oh, yeah. and they are doing very well. Mm -hmm. And of course, one of them, you know, is one of mm -hmm. the directors in yeah. the banks. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. You yes. know? Yes, oh. by the grace of God. By the grace of God. And they are okay. good young people mm -hmm. who are doing You well. are blessed. The two of you, as <laughs> a couple, you are blessed. <laughs> because really that is so not glad. the issue everywhere. Amen. So I really appreciate your timing. Mm -hmm. Please pray, Sister Elizabeth. Mighty and everlasting Father, we give you thanks for who you are. You are God. Besides you, there is no other. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but mm. your word shall abide forever. Mm -hmm. We thank you because you are the author of families. Mm. You are the one who desires that mm. everyone should be in a family. Yes. And I pray that God, especially for our ladies, mm. that God, the peace of God, that surpasses our understanding, mm. shall keep their minds. Mm -hmm. They will be able to stay mm -hmm. on you mm -hmm. for they that wait upon the Lord mm -hmm. shall renew their strength. Amen. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Mm -hmm. King Jesus, I pray for every lady mm -hmm. who is waiting upon you that yes. the peace of God mm -hmm. will keep them. Mm -hmm. We thank you for loving us. Thank you for the families. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those who lonely people. Mm -hmm. King Jesus, I know you have good plans for them. Yes. Plans for good and not for evil. Mm. Plans to give them a future and, and a hope. hope yeah. And Jehovah God, we are waiting upon you to mm. hear mm. even many messages mm. of the great things mm -hmm. you are doing their families. Mm. We give you thanks and praise. In mm. Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 May God bless you. And please remember, we are here every Thursday. 12.30 to 2.30. I look forward to seeing you because this is a personal invitation. God bless you. Have a good week with your family. Amen. Have you ever searched for a cloud? Have you ever cried out loud? Hi. If you are looking for a place to go for a retreat, meditate, and just have a quiet time, the place is Home Care Retreat Center. Today I'm so glad to be able to welcome you to experience uh, a place that is Celine, a place that you can be able to retreat with your family, with your home group, with your, your church leaders, for, to, to wait on God, a place without a lot of interruption, there are no matatos passing around, and it is a place that has been developed with very, very high standards. I can say, because I've traveled quite a bit, uh, that the kind of development of the new home care retreat center, the rooms and the kind of uh, things that are pu have been put there are things that are not common. Most of the places that we go, the rooms are small, others you feel squeezed. And I really, really would like to encourage as many of you to make arrangement. There is a number on the screen that you can be able to call to book whether it's your t home group leaders, whether it's your church elders, a very, very great place has been developed thanks to uh, the vision of Reverend Dr. Jude Bogwa. Well, have you been there? Take time, drive down at Karen, take a drive, and you will be sure to enjoy a quiet, serene, beautiful place for your conference facilities, for your accommodation facilities, just in case you have some of those guests coming in, well, the place is Home Care Spiritual Retreat Center. Karibuni sana. <laughs>